What is the value of the expression 96 divided by 6 multiplied by open parentheses 2 plus 2 close parentheses and again multiplied by 4? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? This expression looks very simple, but 99% of people get the wrong answer. Let's go step by step and solve it together. Many people when trying to solve this question, first go for the expression inside the parentheses because they believe parentheses have a higher priority than the other operations. So, they simplify this expression to 96 divided by 6 times 4 and again times 4. And the next step, they go for the two multiplication signs that I've highlighted in yellow because they think multiplication has a higher priority than division. So, instead of this expression, they write 96 divided by 96, which finally gives them the answer 1. And immediately, they conclude that the correct answer to this question is option A. But, I have to say, we were tricked and it's not the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let me explain a step by step how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we must follow a rule that is called PEMDAS. And this rule, P stands for parenthesis, E stands for exponent, M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. We have to follow the order of operations I told you, step by step from top to bottom. Okay, and the first step, we go for the expression inside the parenthesis because it has the highest priority among all the operations. So, instead of this expression, we can write 96 divided by 6 times 4 and again times 4. Alright, as you can see on the screen, in this expression, we have one division sign followed by two multiplication signs. We must pay close attention that multiplication and division have exactly the same level of priority in the PEMDAS row. In this situation, the best thing to do is to start from the left and perform these two operations in order. So, first we perform the division between 96 and 6, which simplifies this expression to 16 multiplied by 4 and again multiplied by 4. In the final step, we perform the multiplication between 16 and 4, and instead of this expression, we can write 64 times 4, which finally gives us the answer 256. That's great. Option D is the correct answer to this question. Alright, now let's solve another tricky math question together. What is the value of the expression 60 minus 5 times open parenthesis 10 minus 8 close parenthesis? Which option do you think is the correct answer to this question? Let's take a closer look and solve it together. In the first step, most people perform the subtraction between 60 and 5, which I have highlighted in blue. So, this expression simplifies to 55 multiplied by 10 minus 8 inside the parentheses. In the next step, they calculate 10 minus 8 inside the parentheses, which becomes 55 multiplied by 2. And finally, the value of this expression must be equal to 110. Then, Without any hesitation, they quickly say that option D is the correct answer to this question. But this answer is absolutely wrong. Alright, now let me explain a step by step how to solve this expression properly. To solve this question, we need to follow the PEMDAS rule step by step. PEMDAS shows us the priority of the order of operations. Alright, as you can see in the image and this expression, First, we have a subtraction sign, then a multiplication sign, and finally parentheses. We must start with the parentheses first, because they have the highest priority than the other operations. So, we can write this expression as 60 minus 5 multiplied by 2. And the next step, we move on to the multiplication between 5 and 2, because multiplication has a higher priority than subtraction. So, we write this expression as 60 minus 10 which finally gives us the answer 50. Therefore, option A is the correct answer to this question.